Nicholas having this victory and not only doing it on HBO but doing it against a guy like Nonito Donier, what does it mean to you personally? I mean, as I say, love, I, love, I love fighting. I like tough opponents. I like great fight. I like when I finish fighting, people can talk about my fight. They can say, well, Nicholas put on a great show and five, six years after, they still can talk about what happened here today, right? So that's it. In fighting down here, I knew that it was, it was going to be a tough fight. It's always going to be a tough fight. He's a very tough fighter. He's a very good opponent and everything. So I went into the gym. We knew who we were up against. We went, to, went into the fight. We did a lot of hard work in the, in the gym. We have nothing to take away from my people. They helped me a lot. And this is the outcome. You sucked them into your fight as the fight progressed. Talk to me about how you were able to suck them into the type of fight you wanted to have with them. Normally when I fight, I normally tend to counter, counter my opponent. But tonight I was fighting a, a great counter puncher. Counter puncher. Not, only, not only a great, but a super counter puncher. So he, in the second round he caught me with a shot. And, and well, I went back to my corner. I was thinking to myself, how could I make him draw me into his fight when I'm the one supposed to draw him into my fight? So I realized that now we, we cannot take the, the fight only a one dimension. We have to take it to a, a two dimension fight. I have to give him the opportunity make him counter and then counter him after his counter, right? So it was that, it was, a, it was a lot of brain in the fight, it was a lot of brain in the fight. I knew he was, he was trying to figure me out, I was trying to figure him out. And it was, you know, as I say, it was an excellent fight and I'm, I have nothing to take away from Donito, he's a very great champion and I, I, there's a lot that I learned here today. When you hit him with that uppercut, what was going on in your mind? Did you feel that you could have finished him in that round had it lasted longer? Actually, when I, when I caught him, when I caught him, I caught him, it's, you know, this is boxing. He caught me late in the round also. He caught me with a good shot in the round also. I, I, I cannot say, I cannot say, no, he, he didn't catch me. He caught me with a very good, damn good shot in, in, in the second round. And he caught me late in the round. Maybe in his mind he would say, if I caught him early in the round, maybe I would stop him. Maybe in his mind he have that. The same thing, I caught him in the round and he went down. And he, he, he goes, all is going to your mind. Like, if I had caught him earlier, maybe I would stop him. But the fight went on and he went, he, you know, the fight went just, how, just like how it's supposed to end up. Nicholas, when you landed the shot that eventually led to the stoppage, what was going on through your mind as you're in the corner and the ref's counting? Well, actually, when he went down, I knew that I caught him with a good shot, real good shot. And I was just looking at him in there, there um, down and watching the referee counting. I knew, that, I knew that if he got up, I knew that if he got up, I have it to, I have it to him to, to take him out. I have the, I have a, all the ammunition. If he didn't have in that round, maybe the next round. But um, I see I saw him went down. I knew I caught him real good, and that's what we trained for. We, we came into this fight as I told I told the public that I'm not going for the I'm not going for the A. I'm going for the A plus. I'm going for the knockout. Definitely, I'm not going in here swinging punches. As you see, I, I wasn't swinging punches. I was just waiting, setting up everything, working, staying behind my job, working behind my good defense and everything. And that's it. Him, um, you know, he, he he was on the canvas. I was just looking at him down there and those. You know, I mean, if he got up, we have to continue to fight. If he don't get up, well, good for me. You mentioned that you saw him in the locker room. What did you guys tell each other? He came over there. He congrat congratulated me. He, he said that I'm, 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 I'm his champ just now, and he, I'm a very good fighter and everything. And I'm, I'm very happy to hear him express his, his feelings to me that way. From, from Donito, which is a great champ, telling me that I'm a good champ and I'm a great champ. I really, I really, you know, that's something to take back with me. I'm very happy. And he's, as I say, he's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful, wonderful person. Even after the fight, he said, he hear him said to his people that he was not, he was he didn't get the opportunity tonight to really come out with a victory, but he's glad for the support and everything. He's a wonderful person, and as I say, just a wonderful, wonderful person. Nicholas, thank you.